Hey guys, welcome to SSV Tech Susil this side. And today we are going to see about the filter transformation in Azure Data Factory. So what is filter transformation? So the filter transformation allow you row filtering based upon a condition. The output stream includes all rows that matching a filtering condition. The filter transformation is similar to the where clause in the SQL Server. So this is basically we could say like we are having one of the source and that source is having the data for the employee and here we have the employee data along with the department so we don't want to load the data for all the departments we just want to load the data only for IT department or the HR department so on that scenario we can use the filter transformation now go to the browser and we'll see in the practical so here we are under the Azure blob storage under this SSE testing under this input folder so here we are having this file which is the employee data new .csv file. So this file is having the data for the employee ID, employee name, salary and department. So here we could see the department which is the IT and the HR department. So we don't want to keep all the data from this file to the output folder of the file. We just want to keep the rows which is under the IT department. So how we can do that? So go to the Azure Data Factory. So here, let me try to create a new data flow. And under this new data flow, first, let me try to add a source. So we can click on this. And after that here, we have already created a data set for the employee data new .csv file. So let me try to use that one, which is the employee data. Let me try to open this. So we can verify. So this is under the input folder employee data new .csv file. So here we are under the SSU testing input folder and the file which is the employee data new. So that is okay. So let me close this. And here let me try to go in the projection. So here it has the employee ID, name, salary and department all the data there. Let me try to check the data by using the data preview. So we can click on the refresh and it will be going to fetch the data from the source. So here, as we could see, it is having the IT department, then HR department. So as per the requirement, we want to keep the data for the IT department only. So for that, we have to use the filter transformation here. So let me click on this plus symbol. And after that here, let me try to search for filter transformation under the row modifier. So let me click on that. Here we can see the filter on. So we have to specify the condition here. So let me try to open the expression builder. And here we have to filter for the department IT. So let me try to select the department name from here. Then double equals to with the IT. Now we can save and finish this. And here quickly go on the data preview and try to check the data. So this will be going to have the data for the IT department only so so as we can see it has the data for the IT department only if we want to keep the data only for the HR department so on that scenario we can go in the filter setting again and instead of IT we can filter for the HR department go to the data preview and try to refresh so this time it should have the data for the HR department only so it is fetching the data so as we could see HR department four rows here. So as per the requirement, we want to keep the data which is for the IT department only. So we can select that. Now here we can set the sync by which we want to keep the file. So we want to keep the file in the output folder of the blob storage. So let me try to use the inline data set here because I'm going to use this only a single time and will not going to use again. So here, let me try to have the delimited text here. Then link service, we have already created this SSU testing. So I'm going to use that one. Go to the setting. Here we can see the folder path. So we have to select the output folder and then we can click on OK. Now here the first row as header. So we have to select that checkbox. Then after we can see the file name option. So instead of default, it should be output to a single file. And we can call this as filter 
now we can go directly on the optimize and here instead of use current partition it should be single partition now we can go to the data preview and refresh it so it should have the data only for the IT department that we have seen there so here as we can see that let me try to publish this so this should be going to publish in between let me try to add a new pipeline here to execute this data flow so for executing the data flow we are required to use the data flow activity so here we can search for the data flow activity and under this data flow activity let me select the data flow that we have created like data flow one now we can go in the output folder and as of now we could not see anything in the output folder so here as you can see no blocks fine so let me try to debug it so once this will be executed successfully we will be going to see the data file with the filter so here it will be going to have the file with the name of filter and that will have data only for the IT department so we can refresh it so as we can see it has the filter file here let me try to open it now go to the edit and here we can see the data for the IT department only so this is all about the filter transformation under the Azure Data Factory. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.